Hi guys and welcome to another video. I'm really sorry that I've been away for a long time but um, once I got back off my holiday I was really really busy and I just didn't have a chance to film and upload any videos. But I'm back today and hopefully I will be able to stick to my twice a week schedule from now on. So since I'm back and my empties basket is a chock -a block I thought I'd do an empties video for you guys. I hope you don't mind and I hope you enjoy these kinds of videos. So, um, this basket's probably been, been filled up since around February, March time, just after we moved house. Um, I did have a basket at my old house, but I think that the things kind of got either thrown in the bin or recycled during the move because, you know, you don't want to be taking empty products from one house to another. Um, but I have started filling it up again, and so I thought, you know, May as well show you guys what I've used up and let you know whether or not I'd repurchase and what I thought of and things like that. So we will start with my most recent um, finished product, that's this one. And this is, I don't know how well you can see, my camera seems to be acting up a little bit today. Um, this is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Deep Treatment Mask. And um, I tried to say that in a posh accent, that like mask, but it's a mask basically, a hair mask for your hair. Um, I really like this one, I've been using it quite a while, I'll just show you that I have finished the product and I'm not fibbing to you. Um, <clears throat> I really like this one, it leaves my hair feeling lovely and silky and smooth and I'd actually forgotten about it and I found it in the cupboard and I was like, oh I'll try that again and I really like it but I've looked around and I can't find it anywhere and I'm not sure where I bought it from, it could have been super drug so I need to check um, there next time I go into town because I really really like this and I would love to it up again and it was quite affordable and I love it so yes I would definitely repurchase that one um, I have a little simple kind to see skin soothing toner which I've spoke about on several occasions I really really like this it's my favorite toner because it doesn't have smell um, which means I can put it on my face and it don't linger you know I hate it when scents linger on my face all day I don't mind perfume and things like that but not on my face um, I'm usually like sniffing around like a crazy woman thinking what is that smell um, so I like one that's fragrance free and this one works for me and I need to pick a new one up of these because <clears throat> my one that I had before we went on holiday has disappeared I have no idea what I've done with it so I'm using another one that is from Aromatherapy Associates and it's lovely but <clears throat> oh excuse me that's one of the ones that does have a scent to it and I'm not enjoying using it as much as I enjoy this really cheap one. I mean this is about $2.99 or $3.99. It's just bargainous and fantastic and I would recommend that to everyone. Um, I have a Dove Go Fresh Nourishing Body Wash in Revive. That looks like this. I love Dove body washes. They're really, really nice. They smell great. They're really moisturising on your skin. And they're also um, purse friendly. Um, body washes and things so yes I like that one I think I was sent that one for review um, oh it's pomegranate and lemon verbena scent pretty sure I was sent this to review and I really really like it so it gets a thumbs up from me <coughs> um, oh for another shower product this has actually got a little bit left in it it uh, sort of stuck to the bottom and I couldn't get it out so I tried to wash it out <laughs> and now it's decided to trickle down the bottle never mind <clears throat> this is Lush Snow Fairy. I had this at Christmas time. I did a review on my blog. I did really like it to start with. But after a while the scent to me kind of got a little bit too much. Um, I think it's Pear Drops. I believe Sweet Candy Floss and Pear Drops. And it just got a little bit too sickly for me. So I think I like it. But it's a little bit too much for constant use. So... You know, Stacey likes this one, so I might buy it her for Christmas next year and then just pinch it down again when I feel like I want to smell really, really sweet. <laughs> um, I also used up a hand food from Soap and Glory that looks like this. This is a hand cream, if you hadn't gathered. Um, it's a non-greasy hydrating hand cream with shea butter, macadamia oil and marshmallow. It smells really nice. I don't know what it'll smell. Mm, not really. <clears throat> and I use this in my bathroom. I have two canisters from the bright side, um, one's for hand soap and one's for cream and this is the cream that I keep in there because it smells so good and it matches the hand wash. Shh. Um, I've also used up a Batiste mini dry shampoo in Blush which I think is the original scent. I've used this so many times, repurchased it like 
time and time again and I love it and I like this size for my handbag um, and I know I have a few of these somewhere I've used up three one 50 mil and two <coughs> 30 mil Liz Earl cleanse and polishers you guys know how much I love this and I've actually repurchased oops um, another one of this size because it's just great it kind of exfoliates really gently um, what I do is I put it on dry skin, rub it all in, into problem areas especially and then I wash it off with a warm muslin cloth. I just find it leaves my skin feeling lovely and soft and smooth like a baby's bum and it's just lovely. It has a slight fragrance to it but it doesn't linger so that's really nice and yeah it just does a great job and I would recommend it to you everyone as you probably already know. Um, these I mentioned in my last video which was my what's in my holiday wash bag two little shore deodorants um, I wasn't so keen on the cotton version but I really like the aqua and I probably would repurchase that in a full size um, for everyday use and I've also finished off these are really random I'm not pulling them out in any particular order <laughs> in, if you hadn't already guessed I've used up two soap and glory uh, wash your hands a bit hand washers these are what I also have in my bathroom and I really like these they're very often on three for two so I'll buy three and they last for ages and ages um, so yeah I like those they smell so good they smell like the um, <coughs> body butter the shea body butter that's really lovely I'm so sorry that I'm really croaky again you guys I'm not seem so like in every video that I've made I've been croaky and horrible so <laughs> I'm not usually ill all the time <laughs> I'm just really unlucky at the moment so yeah hopefully I will feel better soon um, I've also used up the Urban Ret Retreat mask that I told you guys about in my last video as well but I can't find this anywhere online which is really upsetting for me because I loved this and I really 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 want to repurchase it but I can't because I can't find it anywhere so I don't know what to do if anyone knows where you can get these masks from I would have said um, Urban Retreat obviously but they don't seem to have them in stock I might have to send them an email and see if it was like a one-off thing or um, if they're bringing it into their regular line and I'll let you guys know because it's a really really good um, mask and it smells really nice and it does a great job it tightens on the skin and then when you wash it off your face is just smooth as with all the products I've mentioned so far so yeah it's really nice and I like that and I would love to repurchase it I also finished off my mini three minute miracle reconstructor which looks like this this is another hair product and I love that and I probably will purchase the full size eventually but I have a few other hair masks and things to get through so I'm just gonna leave it for a little while that also smells great um, a lot nicer than some of their other products that I've tried in the past too so that's really good and I've also used up my Tresemme Colour Vibrance Protection Shampoo that's also a mini size that looks like that um, and that is for colour treated hair obviously <clears throat> um, and I've already repurchased that in full size because I really really like it uh, what else do I have? I have another shampoo which is the Avon Naturals Replenishing Shampoo in Ginseng and Bamboo and that's also for colour treated hair. That was another product that I really really liked but unfortunately I've not seen it in a brochure since I've used it up so as much as I would love to repurchase it I can't and if you've not noticed I'm not loyal to any particular shampoo. I switch all the time. <laughs> so but I suppose that's good really because then my hair is not just getting used to one thing and then it not working if that makes sense and I've not got my nails painted today but you guys know that in every other video I have um, and what I use for touch-ups is the model's own oops art sticks that looks like that and that's a nail polish remover um, it kind of has these are really dirty and horrible um, like sponges and they're they usually have nail polish remover on and you can just clean around your nail when you've done your nails and it just keeps them um, looking nice rather than you know dunking a cotton body in, um, nail polish remover and getting it everywhere this just does a nice clean job and it's fab and I was going to repurchase it but then I saw a cheaper version in the A1 book last month so so long as they've got them in stock and it gets delivered I won't be repurchasing this just yet because I'm going to try that one out but if not then I will be down at Boots next week purchasing another one of those. Um, 
I have two more body products, um, which is the Rituals, Sensation, Organic Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. You'll be glad that I finished with that because I'll stop talking about it now because I just love that one. It's such a great summery um, shower gel. And I also wanted to repurchase that one, but I feel unique or out of stock. Typical. So <laughs> once I see that in stock, I'll be repurchasing that one. And this is a product that I have had so many times and I just love it. And it's the... Um, Naked, naked skincare, um, ooh la la, naked creamy bliss cocoa de mer body wash, and this is 97% natural product. It smells really good. I finished this off ages ago, um, but yeah, it's just so nice. I love it. It's got coconut and passion flower extract, apparently, but I really like it. I repurchase this loads, as I've said before. It's usually like pink um, body wash and it smells really really nice I'm not really getting a scent like i said this has been finished since probably february so unfortunately i can't smell it to tell you what it smells like but it's really really nice and i love it and i must have repurchased that 20 to 30 times over the years i love it in fact at one point i only ever used that and then i started to get into like other products as well so that's really good otherwise i would be so boring <laughs> I also wanted to talk about this coffee. I'm not a massive coffee drinker, but this is the Kenko Milicano Whole Bean Instant Sunlight Blend Coffee. I was sent this to review. <coughs> oh, so, so sorry, you guys. And it's fantastic. I love it. It's so tasty. It smells great. Everyone that's been to the house is like, oh my goodness, what's that coffee? And it's this, and I'm running out, and I'm so disappointed. Um, obviously, that's one tin, and then we've had... We had three tins all together, the second one's gone and I threw that away because I just wanted to mention it to you guys. I didn't want to like fill my basket with coffee. Um, and we're on the third um, jar now and that's nearly all gone. So we'll be very, very disappointed when it has gone because it's quite expensive and I don't know whether Nathan will repurchase it or not. I think he will if it's on offer, but not at full price. But yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, and finally, because I'm babbling now again as usual. I have two candles that I've finished off from Yankee Candle. The first is Beach Flowers, which looks like this. And yes, I did burn the jar. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but I did. Um, this has lasted me absolutely ages. It's a lovely fragrance, and I've had the little ones before in like sample size. I'm not sure if I would repurchase it for myself. I would definitely buy it as a present, and if somebody bought it for me, I would also be really happy. But it's not my favourite floral fragrance from um, Yankee Candle. That would be... The next one smooth link there look. <laughs> and this one is called lovely kiku and this smells like chrysanthemum and it's just absolutely gorgeous it just fills the room with scent i mean this one does obviously because this is a large jar but usually with the small ones i don't find they're quite as good but this one it, the whole house the whole room downstairs one not the whole house obviously but the whole room downstairs and the kitchen which is joined onto the living room then all upstairs and all on the landing just all smelt so good and i was like i can't believe that that's come from this tiny little candle jar which is called lovely kiku if i haven't already said i think i have <laughs> but it smells so good and i love it and i would definitely repurchase this in a big size but at the moment i'm saving for my christmas candles because i love 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 candles and I want lots of different um, Christmassy scents this year. So I thought if I start now and buy one a month up to November, I will have lots to go through in December. And that is my basket now, all empty and ready to fill up again for you next time. <laughs> and all of my things will now be going in the recycle bin. So if you have an empties video, why not link it in the um, comments below and I will come and check it out. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe. I'm pretty sure a subscribe button will come up here anytime now. And I will see you again on Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.